Now I uh, said I was going to do a uh, little review on these uh, Mercedes Benz or Mercedes Benz. Um, see what I tell you what I like about and what I dislike. I think I dislike more than what I like, but uh, yeah, I just uh, show you some things and what I uh, what I don't like about them. Um, now that the quality is quite good like they don't rattle or squeak uh, it's a 2016 it's done 600 and I could probably tell you 656,000 kilometers um, now some of the things that I dislike um, is a seat is one of them um, not enough padding in the seat Maybe there's a better model. I uh, I had a friend that drove one for a little while and he said it was quite good. Um, this might be the cheaper version. Um, there might be a better one than this. Now, you can stand up in them. They're quite uh, quite big. I'll put some lights on here. Um, they're quite large inside, like to stand up. This is the high roof one. Got plenty of storage. Um, I will stand up and... Uh, you know, it's got a big storage area up here. Um, not my storage in this one, but I'm, I'm assuming they, they have cupboards that go up the back as well. This one hasn't got it. Don't need them. I only do a changeovers. Um, beds, not too bad, not real big, but uh, adequate for what I use it for. Uh, might be a bit tight if you're living in it all the time, but what I do... It's uh, it's fine, and I have slept in it because I've been to Sydney. Um, the electric cooler up there on this one. Uh, it's not real good on a hot day unless you close everything up. Um, if you're in the four degree heat in Queensland, it probably wouldn't be too good. But uh, yeah, it's not too bad. What I don't like is they probably don't need this colour. It gets really dirty. Um, this beige. Um, I think you got to keep it clean. It's got to be a sort of a one truck, one driver type uh, setup. That's my little bin. I usually fill it up. It's got a sh big storage underneath the bunk. Got a fridge, of course, which is huge. Lifts up lid. Does freeze if you have it up too high down the back. Um, do like that idea. Big fridge, you can actually stand quite large bottles up. Cup holders are handy. Got storage down here as well. Um, little cupboard. Got a little bit of storage down the bottom if you need it. So even for what, if you haven't got the cupboards up the back, there's still you know a little bit of room to put things. Um, now. I'll just start up push push button and all that sort of thing what I don't like about the radio it's got an equalizer no I don't think you need an equalizer on a radio I think nowadays you just have a base and a treble especially for trucks um, does have navigation got a navigation button here it does have navigation on this one um, which works pretty good I guess I haven't I have a need to use it Uh, it's got all the safety lane guidance and uh, when you go over the lane it beeps at you. You can turn it off which I like because I don't have it on. It's got the uh, active cruise control when you come for, used to have, act, well I should say it used to have active cruise control until I hit the tree which was in my last video um, and they haven't repaired it. So I did have that but I, would, I didn't use it anyway so it doesn't really matter. Um, dash layout's alright. The only problem is that another thing I don't like you can't turn down that center one um, You can turn down the, the brightness on the others. It's just a bit bright for me anyway um, Everything's an easy reach um, Got all the controls on the uh, steering wheel quite good um, Another thing I don't like when you make settings to turn things off you have to keep doing it every time you turn the truck on Volvos are like that as well, so um comfortable not really 
I think a K200 is just as good. They don't ride as good as a Volvo, I don't think. Uh, Volvo's a lot softer in the suspension. Uh, this one's got the mirrors. The new ones have the electronic dashes. And the uh, and you can get them with the, the cameras instead of the mirrors. Um, they're huge mirrors, you can see. But they have, do have blind spots. Especially at roundabouts. But you can see out of them, they're really good. Um, CB's up there. Got any bit light if you want to turn the lighting down. Don't really use that too much. A um, little bit of storage up here. Um, you can put things up there if you wanted to. I've got no need for it. Um, speaker system is pretty average. Um, got climate control, everything like that. That works really well. Air conditioning works well. I have used it. Um, don't need it now because it's the middle of winter and it's really windy. So, and the seat doesn't go back far enough. I could probably go back a little bit further, but it hits the bed. Um, it's hard up against the bed. I do have it leaning back a little bit further, because you can get further away from the steering wheel. Um, and then you sort of, you can adjust the steering wheel pretty well, but um, yeah, I could have that seat travel just a little bit further. I think the new ones have fixed that problem. And as I say, the seat is not at near a Kenworth. Um, and probably not near a Freightliner either. Um, yeah, not enough padding in them. Uh, they got heated seats. They don't do too much. I've got to think about lumbar support. That's about it. There's not too many buttons on the side. There's little buttons on the uh, right hand. You've got to fold down. Fold down armrests, things like that on both sides, which I like. Don't use them all the time, but I do. Um, I do like European trucks with the mirrors at the front, so you can see where we are. I have used them quite a few times. Um, especially when hooking up trailers in the shed. Um, there is a blind spot mirror on the other side, just above the the door, which uh, it works okay. But other than that, yeah, just just a few issues with it. Definitely should have had that colour all the same. Would have made it a lot cleaner. Um, this is useless. You got to really lean over. They probably should have made it a little bit higher. Maybe even made a. Uh, uh, storage compartment we could actually lift it up that might have been a little bit better um, plenty of things cigarette lighter plugs and things like that so as in most trucks nowadays look I think the new newer model I'd like to try one of those and see what they're like and maybe an updated one um, a friend of mine said he had a leather steering wheel this one's sort of the hard one and maybe had a better seat in an upgraded version um, this is probably a poverty one, and that's just all you need for doing changeovers. Uh, yeah, you don't need anything else. Um, it does have some teething problems as they get old, I guess, like a lot of trucks. It comes up with faults for lights and things like that, but the lights are actually working. Um, new ones have got LED lights, these have got H7s. Every two weeks you're changing the headlight globe, so that's a problem. And Volvos were exactly the same. Um, they go through them. Pfft, unbelievable. And these are a little bit harder to do. You've got to undo a lot more screws. You've got to drop the bull bar down. And that's something. Um, but they do, as someone mentioned in the last video, that they do wander. And they do, but I've been told if you actually put um larger steer tires on them that they uh they do uh sit on the road a bit better but they do have a tendency to wander and i think that's got a lot to do with the, how the trailers loaded as well because i had one that and it sat pretty well the other day it was pretty light and i think it was loaded really really balanced so that's another problem with them but uh but other than that you know i I wouldn't buy one if I was in the market for a truck. I'd look for something better. Um, without seeing a new one, I and I have to see one of those first. But I, I possibly wouldn't buy one of these. But they're uh, they're okay for what I do. 
just to change over his occasional straight through to Sydney. So I'll just give a uh, a quick look on the outside and uh, yeah, we'll uh, see what it looks like and what features have got on the outside. And I'll tell you what I don't like about the outside. <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty good, but doors are huge on these things. I'll just I'll turn these lights off first. Just make sure I turn them off. I know they go off when you uh, lock the doors. Doors are huge, <coughs> really big. Um, you gotta be careful when it does catch them, they can come back on you. So, uh, they are high, they are huge to get up and down in. Lots of steps. Um, yeah, but these doors are, are massive. And it's a really windy day, it's good to have that window open just to uh, so it doesn't uh, come back on you. And you've got to have them quite wide, they're a little bit hard to get in and out if you don't have that door open all the way. But that's European trucks, I think. Um, 580 horsepower. There is, uh, I mean, they look impressive. Um, need to polish these fuel tanks, they're <laughs> a bit uh, scungy. Um, keep breaking these guards. Um, you gotta make sure you put them down, have the trailer, lift up your trailer a little bit when you drop them. And, uh, because they do pop up really quick. I actually broke these ones because of, um, yeah, I had the controller in my hand and actually pushed the button because I only dropped it. But, uh, something I have to show you, toolboxes, another thing I don't like, open these from the inside, aren't I? toolboxes, useless, if you're just getting stuff just here, it's fine, things are starting to fall out, um, anything down the back, can't even see in it, needs a step, they should have put it, if they're going to have that big, like they're it quite, can get quite a bit in it, but um, if you're going to uh, get into it, they need to put a step somewhere, maybe a fold out step because they, they are absolutely useless. There is one on the other side down here, down the bottom, easy to get to, only small. Just put a little tool bag, bag in there, but uh, yep, useless because <laughs> you can't get to them. You have to stand on a step to actually see what's in it. Um, don't like them. What else have we got? Uh, bull bars are really good on these. They've got driving lights built in if you want them. They don't have to have them. Um, I've got a light bar up the top. Useless on the Hume Highway. Can't use it very often. Um, I did give it a wash, but I didn't do a good job because it was dark when i done it. Um, other than that, I look at... They're okay, but yeah things fall off them <laughs> these panels you've got to undo all these panels when you're changing the light globe it's just annoying um, this panel up here caught on the door I think because the door is actually moved a little bit seems to be a bigger gap on the left hand side and it caught this little clip broke this clip on here two screws I think they could design it a bit better and have that as one panel and probably open up at the front because all this opens up at the front here to get to uh, get to the water and things like that. This front opens up. Uh, I think they've got fold down steps, you haven't got a bull bar on it. Can't wash the windows. Stone guards don't help. Um, yeah, they, I don't know, it's a lot of plastic on them. Probably do a better design, I think. Probably don't need all these all these sorts of things on there. You have that flat. Don't know what it does, but <laughs> some designer, I guess, has uh, thought that was a good idea. Just wind goes through it, so what? <laughs> Just goes around it if you haven't got it. Um, 
all dirt gets in these, these sort of places as you can see they're dirty you got to try and clean inside there you don't need it just make it a flat panel um, I broke this when I uh, I'll tell you about the blue steer tire broke that but that was my fault um, but that's it look impressive they look good but I don't I don't like them but that's just me all right um, I'm on my way home now it is a set day just come back so I'll uh, yeah I'll uh, go home and uh, do it all again um, on Monday back to doing changeover just do tie cutters probably see me up there if you happen to be up there it's uh, only one each way so hard to get drivers at the moment they can't get one in Sydney so that's the way that works but uh, yeah I'll put this door down and I'll head home <laughs>